Hi everyone and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, this is Flow with Yoga. My name's Beata. Today we're going to celebrate strength and beauty as we flow through the sequence and hold all the various asanas. Uh, so without further ado, let's just begin. We're going to start off in Balasana. So bringing the knees as wide as your hips, big toes are touching, drawing the tailbone towards your heels. And then with the chest leading, walk the hands forward, reaching the arms as far forward as you can, at the same time reaching the tailbone back and releasing all the way down, releasing the elbows, releasing the forehead, allowing the chest to draw towards the ground. Taking a moment to just settle in. To arrive on your mats, to connect with your breath, and as we flow through all the various poses today, just remind yourself that you are strong and beautiful within. And it's that inner strength and beauty that shines out and spreads and vibrates. And as we flow through the various poses today, just remind yourself that you're celebrating your inner strength and beauty. Really focusing on the in-breath and out-breath now as we are settling in. Reminding ourselves we have nowhere else to be, nothing else to do. Right now, in this moment in time, you are exactly where you are meant to be. With each exhalation, allow the body to sink, relaxing it down into the ground. With your next inhalation, coming up onto all fours into Parmanasana, spreading out the fingers, shoulders above the wrists, bring the knees as wide as the hips, pointing the toes back. As you inhale, drop the belly down, take the gaze up for Bhitilasana. As you exhale, draw the spine to the sky for Madhyadhyasana, pressing the ground away from you. Inhaling Bhitilasana, dropping the belly, taking the gaze up. Exhale, draw the spine to the sky, bringing the chin in towards the chest. Inhale for Bhitilasana. Exhale, Marjariasana. And do two more just like that with your eyes closed to your own breath. And we meet in neutral spine, flat back. From here, maybe walk the hands just a little bit more forward, making sure the fingers are spread out. You're pressing into the palms. Tuck the toes under, send the tailbone back and up towards the sky. For our first Adho Mukha Svanasana of this practice, pressing into the ground, sending the hips back and up. And maybe walking out your dog, bending one knee and then the other. 
I'm just taking any movements that feel good here. And eventually finding that stillness as you draw the heels towards the ground, navel is engaged. Shoulders are drawing away from ears, looking between the toes. Connecting with that breath in and out. The breath is our guide. Bend the knees, look between the hands and walk a step to the top of your mat. Bring in the feet as wide as the hips. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. So coming into halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Straight back, hands on your thighs. Drawing shoulders away from ears, pressing the tip of the head forward. Weight is in the balls of your feet. Just hold and breathe. On your next exhalation, release all the way down into forward fold. Uttanasana, bending the knees, relax the head. Hang heavy. You're welcome to take hold of the elbows and maybe sway side to side if that feels good. And just allowing gravity to draw you down as your tailbone reaches up. Release the hands, bend the knees and slowly uncurl the spine. Imagine stacking one vertebra on top of the other. With the head coming up last, standing tall, in Tadasana, mountain pose, looking straight ahead, open the palms forward. Connect with the breath. Heel toe the feet together, so big toes are touching. Heels can be slightly apart. Inhale, reach arms up towards the sky. Exhale, palms together at heart center. Inhale, reach arms up, step to the right, opening up. Exhale, press the hips forward, look up, slight back bend. Inhale, back to center, feet together, standing tall. Exhale, forward fold into Uttanasana, belly to thighs. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, left leg steps back as far as you can. Bring the right knee above the right ankle, dropping the back knee. Inhale, rise, Anjaniasana, arms reaching up alongside the ears. Tucking the tailbone under, looking straight ahead. On your next exhalation, bring the palms down to the ground. Spread out the fingers, press the palms down. And bring the right foot back into your high plank, Palakasana. Heels are drawing back, navels in gaze, press into the ground. Take a deep inhalation in, exhale, drop the knees, tailbone goes back towards the heels, untuck the toes. On your next inhalation, draw the nose along the ground, coming through the hands, chest to the mat, straightening out into baby cobra. Hold, breathe. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, shoulders away from ears. Lifting the chest as high as you can. Exhale, release down. Tuck the toes under, press yourself up and back into Adho Mukha Svanasana. Deep breath in, side out. Bending the knees, look between the hands. 
step the left leg to the top of the mat, making sure the left knee is above the left ankle, press the chest forward, drop the back knee, rise, Hanjaniyasana, reach the arms up to the sky, looking straight ahead, relax the shoulders. Your exhalation releases hands down alongside the leg. Lift the back knee up and step the right leg to meet the left. Feet together, inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach arms up, stepping to the left, open up. Exhale, take a slight back bend. Inhale, back to center, feet together, palms together, Anjali Mudra. And we flow through that sequence now on the opposite side. Inhale, reach arms up, open to the right. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, straighten out, feet together. Exhale, forward fold into Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen spine, flat back. Exhale, step back, right leg all the way back as far as you can. Left knee above left ankle, drop the back knee. And rise, low crescent lunge. Anjaniyasana, reach the arms out. Spread out the fingers. Relax the shoulders. Connect with your breath. You are strong and beautiful. Next exhalation, bring the palms down to the ground. Press the hands down. Step back for Palakasana. Engage in the navel, shoulders away from ears. Deep inhalation in. Exhale, drop the knees, tailbone to heels for Balasana. Next inhalation, draw the nose along the ground between the hands. Straighten out, coming into baby cobra. Breathing normally, we hold. Exhale, release down and press yourself up and back into Adho Mukha Svanasana. You're down with facing dog. Welcome to take any movements that feel good. Maybe walk it out. And finding that stillness as you draw the heels down. Press the hips back. Bend the knees, look between the hands. Step the right foot between the hands. Right knee above right angle. Press the chest forward. Drop the back knee, rise. Anjaniyasana. Exhale, releases the hands down, lift the back knee and step the back foot to meet the one at the top. Inhaling for your flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up. High mountain, stepping to the left. Exhale, slight back bend. Inhale, back to center, feet together. Palms at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Swoop the hands back, bend the knees, sit down into your Utkatasana, chair pose. Reach in the arms now, up and alongside the ears, shoulders relax, weight is in the heels. Sitting as low as you can, engage the navel, looking straight ahead. If it's too much on the arms, you're welcome to bring the palms together into Anjali Mudra. Connect with the breath. Palms at heart center, twisting over towards your left. Bring the left elbow on the outside of the right thigh. From here, look down, making sure the knees are still together, squeezing and straight. And then take your gaze up, looking past your right elbow.
coming back to center, forward fold, release down, relax, hang heavy. Deep breath in and out. Inhale, swoop the arms back up, coming into chair pose again. Utkatasana, sitting low, weight in the heels. Arms reaching, fingers spreading, shoulders relaxed. Bring palms to heart center, twisting over towards your left, right elbow to left eye, making sure the knees are still squeezing together and aligning, and then looking up past that left elbow. And releasing, coming into your forward fold. Uttanasana, hang heavy. Bending the knees, slowly we rise, coming all the way up. Bring the weight into the left leg. We're going to set up for Vrikshasana, our tree pose. You've got the option to bring the right foot on the inside of the left thigh, if that's accessible for you, or onto the calf. Alternatively, just place the toes on the floor and let the heel rest against the ankle. So pick the variation that works for you. When you're ready, just inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, just relax into the asana. Spreading out the fingers, spreading the branches. Find your focal point, your drishti, that one spot that will help you balance. Staying where you are, or option to bring the hands behind you. And taking hold of the elbows behind the back, pressing the chest forward. This is just another variation. If your arms are behind your back, open them up. And then everyone bringing the palms together at heart center and releasing the right leg down to the ground. Bringing the weight into our right leg this time, sitting up on the opposite side Take the variation of Rikshasana that works for you. When you're ready, open up your branches, spread out the arms, shoulders drawing away from ears. An option to bring the arms behind you and take hold of the elbows. Release the arms if they are behind your back. Reach those branches out, spread up the fingers, and then bring the palms together in Anjali Mudra at heart center. And release the left leg to meet the right. Deep breaths in and out. As we flow, inhale, stepping to the right, reaching the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hinging back slightly for a back bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Exhale, left leg steps back as far as you can. Option this time to keep the back knee lifted or to drop it. Choose the variation that works for you. And press the chest forward and when you're ready, Rise all the way up, Anjanyasana. Making sure that front knee is above the ankle and not going past the toes.
holding, focusing on your drishti. As you exhale, release the palms down to the ground. Step back for Palakasana, your high plank. Heels draw back, engage the navel, press into the ground. As you exhale, option now to drop the knees or keep them up and lower the chest all the way down to the ground. Bring yourself back into your child's pose, tailbone to heels. As you inhale, draw the nose through the hands, coming up into cobra, baby cobra, or full expression of cobra. We're breathing, we're never holding our breath. Exhalation releases you down and press yourself up back into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shodasana. Deep inhalation in. Exhale, side out. This time, bring the toes together, feet touching. Lift the right leg up for three-legged dog. Step the right foot between the hands. Drop the back heel, press into the outside of the back foot. Rise all the way up for warrior two. Looking past that middle finger, shoulders relaxed. Straighten the front knee, reach forward as you come into Trikonasana. Left arm reaches for the sky, right arm reaches down towards the ground. Pressing into the outside edge of the back foot. Your gaze is up towards the thumb or down if it's more comfortable for your neck. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, bend the front knee, warrior two. Vira Bidrasana Dwe. Windle the arms, bring the palms down to the ground, pivot onto the back toes. Plant the palms down, step back, high plank, Palakasana. Option to drop the knees, deep inhalation in. Exhale, lower chest down to the ground. And press yourself back for Balasana. Tailbone to heels, relax the head down. Inhalation draws the nose along the ground, coming through into your cobra. Bhujangasana. Exhalation releases you down and back for Adho Mukha Svanasana. Bring the feet together so toes are touching while you're in downward facing dog. Left leg rises, three-legged dog. Look between the hands and step the left foot to the top of the mat. Dropping the back heel so the back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. When you're ready, inhale. Vira Bidrasana Dwe. Looking past the middle finger, also making sure the knee is above the ankle and you can see your big toe when you look down. Straight in the front leg. Reaching forward, Trikonasana, triangle pose. Inhale, releasing, coming back up into Vira Bidrasana Dwe. When will the arms down? Plant the palms, pivot onto the back toes, and press into the ground, coming into Palakasana. 
Deep breath in. As you exhale, lower all the way down, chest to ground. Send the tailbone back for Balasana. Inhalation draws the nose along the ground, coming through into Bhujangasana. Exhale, release down and press yourself into Adho Mukha Svanasana, our downward facing dog. Take a moment here to maybe walk it out. Take any movements and just settle in. You can always have a bend in the knees. Bend the knees now, looking between the hands, step to the top of the mat, coming into your Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise, reach the arms up, step to the left. Exhale, slight back bend. Inhale, back to Tadasana, feet together, palms together, Nanjali Mudra. Connect with the breath, close the eyes. I am celebrating the strength and the beauty within me. I am celebrating the strength and the beauty within me. If your eyes are closed, flicker them open. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Take the gaze slightly up and release into forward fold, Uttanasana. Belly to thighs. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, palms to ground, step back, high plank. Your last flow for this practice. Drop the knees if you need to. Deep inhalation in. Exhale, release the chest all the way down to the ground. And send the tailbone back. Balasana. So tailbone to heels. Inhale, draw the nose all the way forward. Coming into Bhujangasana. Exhale, release down and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. And from here, you're gonna come into a seated position. So there's a few ways you can get there. You're welcome to just drop the knees and tuck the feet behind you and walk the hands towards you and just sit down on your bum or any way that gets you there is perfectly fine. And from here, we're going to open up the legs sitting nice and tall, shoulders drawing away from you. Twisting over to the left foot, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinging from the hips, reaching with the chest towards the toes, keeping that left foot flexed, just reaching towards it. And we're keeping the right foot flexed as well, we're not neglecting the other leg. And from here, just relax down, release the hands wherever they fall, they are exactly where they are meant to be. Just release the head wherever it is. And taking deep breaths in and out. We're not reaching for anything. We're simply allowing the body to be in the space it is in. And slowly rise, coming back up to seated. 
And this time, facing the right leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, reach the chest forward towards the right foot. Just continue to reach, hinging from the hips, keeping both feet flexed. And on your next exhalation, just release the arms, release the head, relax. Connecting with the breath, allowing each exhalation to loosen and relax any tight areas. And slowly we come up, lengthening the spine and facing straight ahead between the legs. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinging from the hips, reaching forward, keeping both feet flexed. Continue to reach with the chest. And from here, just allow the arms to fall where they may. If you are able to grab the big toes with the peace fingers and that's accessible for you, you're welcome to do that as well. Otherwise, arms on the ground is perfect. Just release the head. And with each exhalation, relax the chest as you allow it to fall towards the ground. And slowly we rise, coming all the way back up. <sighs> Bring the feet into a comfortable, easy seated position. So Sukhasana. Just cross the legs. As we set up to do a few rounds of Anulum Vilum, a little bit of Pranayama, sitting on the tailbone, lengthen the spine, reaching the crown of the head to the sky. Left hand just relaxes on your knee. You're going to bring the right thumb, placing it onto the right nostril, and your ring finger is going onto the left nostril. And just placing them there for now, we're not squeezing anything. And if it's comfortable for you, you're welcome to take the peace fingers and place them at the third eye center. And close the eyes. And just focus on breathing in and out naturally. On your next inhalation, block the right nostril as you inhale through the left. Block both nostrils and then exhale through the right nostril. Inhale through right nostril. Blocking both nostrils and then releasing the left to exhale. Inhale through left nostril. Block both. Exhale right nostril. Inhale right. Block both. Exhale left. Inhale through left. Block both. Exhale through right. Inhale right. Block both. Exhale left. Now that we've got the hang of that breathing technique, we're going to continue at our own pace. Everyone breathes at a different pace. So it's best to do this exercise to your own breath. 
So we're going to do four cycles. Um, so you'll inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. That's one cycle. So do four of those to your own breath. And when you're done, just relax the right hand down, keep the eyes closed and really just focus inward on the body and observe the body. All right, so let's get started. So we'll start off with thumb and ring finger on our nose. Option to put the peace fingers on your third eye. And when you're ready, inhale and start. Breathing in through the left side first. And take your time. Try to lengthen each breath in and out. And as you're doing this, notice if your body is tensing or if you're holding tense muscles in your shoulders or your back and just release, relax as you do the exercise. By now we should all be seated with our hands on our knees, eyes closed, observing the body, observing the breath. Noticing if you're holding any tension anywhere, just allow it to melt away with each exhalation. Extend the arms out alongside the body, fingertips touching the ground. Eyes can remain closed. Inhale, reach the arms up, fingertips touching overhead. Exhale, release the arms back down. Inhale, reach the arms up, fingertips touch overhead. Exhale, release them back down. Inhale, reach the arms up. This time, exhale, palms together at heart center and Anjali Mudra. Taking a moment to just notice your breathing, notice how your body feels, and reminding yourself you are strong and beautiful. If you'd like to join in for two rounds of OM, you're welcome to. Inhale.
Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day. Namaste.